What's the word, y'all? Welcome back to Kenny's For Real. We talk exclusively about basketball. The last time we talked, you know, there was a lot of rambling going on around the NBA. And, well, Friday, things got, like, put on our plates. And basketball is going to be back way sooner than expected. The rumor before Friday had been MLK Day for the start. I had even heard, like, as far as Valentine's Day. Basically, what they were saying is that, hey, the offseason will start in November. Then after that is wrapped, we'll have a couple months to just chill relax and I guess the NBA was like nope to that because the now timetable that's not completely official because the NBA PA has to approve and things like that is looking like December 22nd is going to be the first day of the NBA season which is like mind-blowing it is mind-blowing because once the bubble ended which was just a couple weeks ago um the, one of the main questions I had is like what does the schedule look like from now on are we going, going to the schedule where it will be like MLK day to around October and that will be like the new norm for the NBA season and it came the NBA came to the realization that maybe we don't want to compete with the with the NFL so let's let's try to get back to our normal schedule so our games that matter the most doesn't compete with Thursday night football because we're getting trashed by Thursday night football now of course it's not the only factor that goes to things but I bet it was a part of the factor I mean our important games we talk about the playoffs and so on doesn't really match up with any other major sports so yeah we're gonna have all the eyes and I'm saying we're like I'm a part of the NBA I don't get paid based on NBA a viewership I get paid based on these viewerships so make sure you tune into to every single video so now the new schedule is December 22nd. Again, it has to be approved. We're talking about a 70, like 70 to 72 game season. So a couple games could shut out. And then we'll be back on the regular schedule that we've been accustomed to. was like late September, early October to, to April uh, for the regular season. And then the playoffs. And then we have the normal regular season or the off season, which for me is great because the off season is the summertime. And then we can travel. NBA players can travel. They can go all these other places. And I can travel. I can take a day or two off work and go somewhere new. So they're trying to get back to that schedule. And when I first saw this news from Shams, I was jumping out of the room. Jumping up and down in my room, not the gym. Um, and because I was super excited, man, because the bubble was great. And and I just miss basketball. It's only been like two weeks since the finals ended. But I miss basketball. And the fact that we're going to get it sooner rather than later is a W. But today we're trying to discuss whether or not the NBA is rushing into things because, well, they could be, right? The original idea of starting it around MLK Day, around Valentine's Day, was for a few reasons. Um, Adam Silver in, in the NBA did not want to try to carry on the bubble because the bubble is just going to be way more difficult to do with 30 teams rather than the 22 that were incorporated in it. And the NBA lost a lot of money when it came to that. They're, they want to get to the point where we can make revenue. And I keep saying we, but you understand that I don't mean like me. We can make revenue and our home cities, in our hometowns. So the idea was like, hey, we'll start at MLK Day or Valentine's Day because we think that potentially there can be a vaccine for this virus that I can't say the name of on YouTube. Because if there's a vaccine and we can go back to opening up stadiums and doing those type of things, our, our butts will be in seats, honestly. But then it's like it's all very contingent on if the world is able to find a vaccine, a working vaccine that they've they've tested over and over and over. And we don't know that for sure. I know they're working hard to try to figure it out. But as of right now, there's there's nothing that shows that we're going to have a vaccine by MLK Day. So the NBA had decided that, you know what, we're just going to try our best. <laughs> the NFL, the MLB are trying their best. And no, it's not going perfectly. We still haven't tested every, before every Sunday night game or whatever. But it's working. The the MLB worked, right? We're, we got into the World Series. I don't know how that's going, but I know it's going on. So they completed the season, though it was a shortened season. And I don't follow much baseball, but I know that it wasn't terribly ridden with the virus that we can't talk about. And the NBA has been a league that can take the modes of other leagues and perfect it. I'm sure if we go to this December 22nd where we're travel, they're they're traveling, going to different cities. Some cities are going to allow fans. We will have positive cases. It's just the, it's just the, the nature of it. It's too much travel, and if we're definitely going to have fans in it, we're probably going to get positive cases. But the NBA may find out a situation where it might be less than what the MLB experience. It might be less than the NFL experience. But realistically speaking, we're probably going to do that. So the idea for the NBA, if you do not know, you'd be living under a rock, is to shorten the season. And I've seen a couple different things of people speculating that in this season, they're trying to cut down travel so much that maybe the Eastern Conference teams never play against the Western Conference team this year. Please don't let that be the case. Please don't let. I want to see LeBron. 
You know what I'm saying? I want to see LeBron back in the UC at least one game a year. Like, that's, that's, that's what we want. So there's a situation where, like, to cut down travel, the NBA players may not travel across country, which is just a weird situation for, like, what about teams that sh- – like, the Memphis Grizzlies – they're like a team in the Western Conference that aren't Western on the map. You know what I'm saying? They're, or OKC or teams like that. They're not a Western team whatsoever, but you're going to have them flying back and forth from California. It's just like going to be te- it's going to be terrible for those teams at the end of the day. But the idea is to, OK, the Chicago Bulls, they're going to travel to New York. And while they're in New York, they may play against the Knicks twice this week and then play against the Brooklyn Nets twice this week. And then we got four games out of the way without having to travel back and forth. So minimizing travel, trying to minimize contact between everybody and things like that. And then we're going to have some series or, or c- uh, uh, cities is the word I'm looking for where fans will be allowed. And it's going to be on the city basis right here in Chicago. There will not be fans involved. I'm a season ticket holder for the Chicago Bulls. I have not heard a call from the Bulls about this season. But there, there's limitations here in Chicago from large gatherings. And because of that, I'm pretty sure unless something gets lifted, the Bulls will not have fans in the audience. But we will see places in, like, Florida. We're going to see places across the globe or, or across America that will allow some players there. We're not expecting a whole 20,000 NBA fans in there, but... You know, some type of social distance, like the NFL is doing it right now, right? Where they have fans, maybe 5,000 fans in this crowd just all around. Some places are going to have that and some places won't. And then now you have to talk about the the weird thing of the Toronto Raptors. From my understanding, the Blue Jays, which is a Toronto-based baseball team, if you did not know, were not able to play in their home arena this season because of the travel limitations between the states between the states and canada we don't want they don't want people flying up to there we didn't want people flying down in here and just potentially spreading the virus even more so now we're about to look at the toronto raptors will probably not play a single game in toronto this year unless we find out a vaccine halfway through the season so now we got people like patrick mahomes like come to kansas city so we're gonna see like some team or some city that may not have an nba team get an nba team for a season and then that may propel the nba to expand if if the the toronto raptors Coming to Kansas City, and I don't know what the laws are in Kansas City, but, like, the fans really love it. Kansas City might have a team in the next five years. You know, those are things we got to talk about. But is the NBA rushing into things is, is a question of today's video because we saw that Danny Green came out on the ringer and said that there is a possibility, at least he believes, that LeBron probably won't play the first month of the season. Now, it is LeBron James, so I'm going to say this cap because even if LeBron didn't plan on playing the first month, he's going to watch the Lakers play the first game and be like, oh, I miss basketball. Oh, I can't catch Kareem if I'm sitting at home. And maybe he misses the first game and like, and do the old Jordan, I'm back in the LA Times, whatever the newspaper is around there. So I don't think we're going to get to that point where NBA players don't play, but these are the type of things that the Lakers should be thinking about. They just got done winning the championship. You know what I'm saying? In the weirdest situation in NBA history. Their whole team is old. I mean, not their whole team, but a lot of their key players are older players. LeBron is a player that spends millions of dollars in the offseason to get his body right for the next season. You're trying to tell me he's got a rappy, though, that, that situation and try to get it get it faster for the start of the season? So that may hurt them. Or, or there's a situation where maybe it doesn't hurt them at all, and it's the exact opposite. They're still firing on all cylinders. They just won a championship a month ago, and now they're back in training camp because training camp is supposed to start December 1st. So are they started too early? Let me know. I don't, I don't even know if I hit on all the points I wanted to hit on, but I, I, I talked about it enough. The NBA season's coming back is a great thing for the fan that is watching at home, but we may see a situation where maybe similar to the bubble where some NBA players decide, I'm going to sit out for a little while and see how things go before I commit to coming back with the team. I think that's a real possibility again this season. So let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll be back. Peace.